Good. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I hope everyone is doing well today. Had a nice weekend. My name is Gail Hamlin. For those of you who may not know me yet, welcome to Vinyasa Yoga. This is an all-level class. Please feel free to roll out your mat. Maybe grab a couple of blocks if you if you like. Don't worry if you don't have them. We can certainly work around it. Let's start on hands and knees. We'll begin with child's pose. Separating the knees a little wider than the hips, toes together, relaxing your hips to heels. You can reach your arms forward on the mat, maybe even turn the palms face up. Or if it feels better to do so, let the arms reach back behind you. Keeping in mind that you can modify your practice any way that you see fit. All right, I'll try to give you options for variations, but please do what's going to be best for you today. Getting grounded with the breath. All right, taking the time to get into the body. Letting the breath deepen each time you inhale, each time you exhale. Let's take two more deep breaths. Coming up onto your hands and knees. Bring the knees in just a tiny bit so they're under your hips. Spread the fingers wide. Setting up our alignment for our first down dog of the day. Bring the inner elbow creases forward, making sure the wrist crease lines up with the front edge of your mat. Press down, start tucking the toes, lift the hips up and back. Remember to stay connected to the breath. Right, yoga is a mindfulness practice, so stay in the body, stay present, keep the breath moving. If it feels good to do so, you can walk out the feet a little, bending the knees back and forth, pedaling out the heels. On a big inhale, lift up the heels high. As you exhale, sink the heels back toward the mat. Let's lift the right leg up, put a bend in the knee, opening the hip, drop the head down, keep peeking under the left arm, and if it feels good to do so, roll the right ankle, roll the foot, so just making circles at the ankle joint, maybe pointing flexing if circles aren't, you know, exactly happening. Start to slow it down, drop the right hip a little bit, pull the knee to the nose, curl it in as you round. Big inhale, right leg lifted up. On the exhale, bend the right knee, come into a brief pigeon pose. Bring the right knee through, left leg back, sit tall. We're just gonna hold it right here since we're not yet warmed up. Just opening up the hips nice and easy. Take one more deep breath. Let's step back to down dog, bring the right foot back. On your inhale, take it forward to plank. Lower your knees, chest and shin to the mat as you exhale. Slide it through into low cobra, tops of the feet down, chest up. Bring it back to down dog, hips up and back. Switching the sides, lifting the left leg, deep bend in the knee so the hip rolls open, head down, maybe peek under the right arm, and if you did it on the first side, try it on the second side, rolling the uh, left foot at the ankle joint, pointing, flexing, both good options. Slowing it down a little bit, drop the left hip a tiny bit, bring the knee to the nose, round it in. Inhale, left leg up. Come to your pigeon pose, left knee through. Sit tall, we're just gonna hold it here. Drop the shoulders back, taking an inhale. 
holding as you exhale. Step the left foot back to your down dog, putting a little bend in the knees, looking forward through the hands, walk the feet up to the front of the mat, folding over the legs, separating your feet about hip width distance apart. Feel free if you have blocks to use them here under your hands about eh, less than a foot in front of your feet. But don't worry if you don't have the blocks, you, I mean this is still uh, doable. I'm going to lift the chest, bend at the right knee, so your left leg is straight, chest up, pick up the left arm, taking a little twist to the left side. So without a block, my fingertips are on the mat, right, and so feel free to do that, but if you have something that you can use, even a, a book or something, give it a try. Give it one more deep breath in. On the exhale, lower the left hand. We'll go the other way, putting a deep bend in the left knee this time, straightening the right leg. Keep the chest up. Start lifting the right arm, reaching up through the fingertips, either peeking to the right or looking up at your hand. Give it one more deep breath in. On the exhale, lower the right hand. Soften through both knees. Begin rolling up slowly to stand. Take your time. And when you come all the way up, Drop the shoulders back, lengthen the tailbone down, standing tall in Tadasana, palm slightly turn forward. Big inhale, the arms sweep around and overhead, Urdhva Hastasana, reach up. Exhaling, Uttanasana, dive over the legs, relax the head down, lift the chest on the inhale. Stepping the left leg back as you exhale, you can drop the back knee or keep it lifted. Take a twist here, pick up the right arm, maybe a block under the left hand if you need. Make sure the right knee is pointing forward. Sometimes the tendency is to roll to the little toe side of the right foot. Keep it nice and even. Look up if you can. One more inhale. Exhale, lower the right hand, down dog. Step the right foot back. You can hold your down dog, of course. Otherwise, we're rolling forward into plank. Lower to chaturanga halfway down or drop the knees. Inhale, cobra baby up dog, straight arms. Returning to down dog or holding child's pose, taking a few deep breaths. Let's give it one more deep breath. And from your downward facing dog, little bend in the knees, look forward, walk or lightly hop your feet to the front of the mat. Fold over the legs with the feet slightly separated. This time interlace all 10 fingers behind the back. Let the arms reach up toward the sky, bend the knees a little, bend the knees a lot, but as long as they're bending. We are good. We want to release the lower back as we add a nice shoulder stretch here. Keep the head hanging heavy. Give it one more breath. Let the arms relax down toward the mat. Keep a slight bend in the knees. Roll up slowly to stand. Press down as you uncurl all the way, all the way up. Chest up, shoulders back. Tadasana. Press down, inhale, sweep the arms around and up overhead, look up, exhale, dive over the legs. Big inhale, we're lifting the chest. Exhale, the right foot back and low lunge. Again, you can drop the back knee to modify or keep it lifted, pick up the left arm, take your twist, keeping the left toes pointing forward, left knee bending deep, reaching up, look up if you can, give it one more deep breath in. Exhale, lower the left hand, down dog, step the left foot back. You're holding down dog, we're gonna flow through again. Inhale to plank, chaturanga lower halfway. Cobra or upward facing. Exhaling back to down dog, or child's pose, deep breaths. Let's take one more full breath. From your down dog, a little bend in the knees, look forward, walk or hop the feet up to the front of the mat, folding over the legs with your feet slightly separated. 
slowly roll up to stand again. Press down, uncurl all the way, all the way up. Chest up, shoulders back, lengthen the tailbone down. Big inhale, sweep the arms around and up overhead. Exhaling, dive over the legs. Lifting up the chest, big inhale. Step it to plank. You can jump it to chaturanga if you like. Lower halfway down. Inhale to your back bend. Exhaling back to downward facing dog and hold for one breath. Slowly inhaling. Slowly exhaling. Start looking forward through the hands. Walk or hop the feet up to the front. Lift the chest on the inhale, maybe palms to shins if that's easier. Exhale, drop the head down as you fold. Step the feet together all the way, toes and heels touch. Utkatasana, chair pose, bending the knees deep. Lift the arms, bring both palms together at the heart. Shift your weight to the right leg. Bring your left ankle above the right knee, coming into a figure four stretch. Once again, getting into the hips, drop the shoulders back. Just look at one point past the end of the nose. Take one more breath. Keeping both palms at the heart center. Start unwrapping your left leg. Come into warrior three. Reach the left leg all the way back. Keep the chest lifted. Soften the shoulders back. Try to level the hips. Drop the left hip down a tiny bit. Lower your hands to the mat. Step the left toes back like you're doing low lunge. Setting up warrior one. Left heel 45 degree angle. Sweep the arms up. Let the shoulders drop down away from the ears. Keep the right knee bending deep. Let's open up for warrior two, arms out to the side. Bring both arms behind the back, interlace all 10 fingers, chest up. Slowly fold inside the right knee, relax the head down, letting the arms reach up toward the sky one more time. up halfway on the inhale let the hands lower to the inside of the right foot as you exhale coming into a side lunge at the back of the mat start to bend the left knee as you straighten the right leg keep your left heel down you can pick up the right toes you can always just keep the right foot flat as well take one more deep breath Let's come into a low lunge at the front of the mat. The right toes plant down, pointing forward. Step back to down dog, bring the right leg back. You can shake it off and stretch it out. Otherwise, you can flow through. Big inhale to plank. Chaturanga lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhaling back to down dog. Big inhale, lift the right leg high. Step to low lunge, bring your foot through the hands. Step the left foot all the way up to the front of the mat, folding over both legs, drop the head down, heel toe the feet all the way together, toes and heels side by side. Bend the knees nice and deep, Utkatasana, lifting the arms, palms to prayer at the heart. Shift the weight to the left leg, bring your right ankle above the left knee, just doing the other side, lengthening the spine, keep the breath nice and steady. Palms stay at the heart center. Warrior three, right leg, reach it back, strong standing leg. Chest forward, shoulders back, drop the right hip a little bit. Let the breath move. Lower both hands down to the mat, low lunge, the right foot steps back, warrior one, turn the right heel, 45 degree angle. Lift the arms, lift up out of the waist as you reach. Open the arms out, warrior two. Bring both arms behind the back again. Change the grip as you interlace fingers. Big inhale, so the opposite pinky fingers on top. On the exhale, fold inside the left knee. Soften the head down. Keep the arms just lengthening up toward the sky. Nice deep breath, opening the shoulders. Coming up halfway on an inhale. Drop the hands to the insides of the left foot as you exhale, taking our side lunge, skandasana to the right, back of the mat. Bend the right knee, keep the heel down. Straightening out the left leg, one more breath. All right, so we're gonna do this one more time. Like we're gonna do this one more set. Low lunge, front of the mat, left toes down, walk the hands around. Down dog, left foot, step it back. And you can hold your down dog if you'd like to flow through. Depends on how, how active you want your practice to be today. A 
Return from your downward facing dog. Big inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, low lunge, step the foot through. Step the right foot all the way to the front of the mat, drop the head down as you fold. Heel toe the feet all the way back together again. Sit deep for chair pose, lift the arms. Palms to prayer at the heart, taking our figure four. Shift your weight to the right leg, left ankle above the right knee, look past the end of the nose. Keep the palms at the heart center, warrior three, left leg reach it back. Leveling the hips. Low lunge, hands down, left foot steps back. Warrior one, turn the back heel down. Lift the arms all the way up. Warrior two, reach out to the side. Arms behind the back, change the grip again, interlace fingers. Fold to the inside of the right knee, soften the head down. Take it up halfway on the inhale, lower the hands to the inside of the right foot as you exhale. Skandas in the back of the mat, bend the left knee, straighten the right leg. Low lunge, front of the mat, walk the hands around, right toes down. Down dog split this time, lift the right leg up and back. Bring the knee to the nose, curl it in and round. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, low lunge, step your foot through the hands. Step all the way to the front of the mat, drop the head down, folding over both legs. Feet together, toes, heels side by side, bend the knees, ukatasana, chair pose. Palms together at the heart. Shift your weight to the left leg, right ankle above the left knee, figure four, look past. Again, the end of the nose on the horizon. Warrior three, right leg back, hips level, chest forward, shoulders back. Low lunge, hands down, right toes touch back. Warrior one, back heel down, lift the arms up. Warrior two, reach the arms out. Arms behind the back, change the grip, interlace fingers, big inhale. Folding to the inside of the left knee as you exhale, head down. Coming up halfway on the inhale. Drop the hands to the inside of the left foot as you exhale. Side lunge to the back of the mat, bend the right knees. Side lunge. Low lunge, front of the mat, walk the hands around. Down dog split, left leg up and back. Pull the knee to the nose, curl it in and around. Inhale, left leg up. Step to low lunge, bring your foot through the hands. Step all the way up to the front of the mat, fold over the legs. Feet together, toes, heels touch. Utkatasana, chair pose. This time we're gonna pause and take a little bakasana crow pose. Fold over the legs. If you already know how to do crow, you can come into it any way that suits you. If you're still working on it, drop the palms flat, spread the fingers wide. Lift the heels, bend the knees. Bend the elbows back a little bit. Bring the knees to the upper arms. Keep looking in front of your hands. If you're looking straight down, this is gonna be next to impossible to accomplish, right? So look forward, let your energy move forward. Start to lean forward until you're resting on your big toes. And maybe you stay here today, that's okay. Maybe start to lift one foot. If you're going for it, lift both feet up. Bring the feet together. That's it, let the breath move. Let's give it one more full breath. Return both feet to the mat. Step the feet wide apart, almost as wide as the edges of the mat. Angle the toes out a little bit, maybe 10 and two, 11 and one. Drop the sit bones down, bending the knees nice and deep. Another hip stretch here. If you're modifying, if the heels come up and this is painful on the arches of the feet, you can roll up your mat or roll up a towel or a blanket underneath the heels. That'll ease some of the pressure. You can also, if you like, if you have a block, slide it under the sit bones. Makes it a little easier on the knees here as well and, and also on the hips. If you're otherwise good, you can stay here. If you'd like the shoulder opener, the option is the right hand reaching in front of the right foot, the left arm lifting up. So the right arm braces the right knee. That makes it a little easier there to keep the knee lined up over the foot. Mm -hmm. Looking up past the left fingertips, give it one more deep breath. Bring both palms together again at the heart center. If you tried the first side, give it a try on the second. Left hand in front of the left foot, right arm up. Keep the breath moving one more time. A 
palms together again at the heart. Return both hands to the mat, lift the hips. Heel toe the feet a little bit closer together until they are hip width distance apart, approximately the space of two fist distance, right? Parangustasana, hand to big toe pose. Grab your big toes in yogi toe lock, first two fingers of each hand. Lift the chest on the inhale. And exhale, drop the head down as you fold. Shoulders out of the ears, elbows angle out to the sides. If you're modifying here, you're welcome to just hands to opposite elbows, right? And then if you need to bend the knees, you can bend the knees. That makes it a little bit easier there. Take one more deep breath. On your inhale, start lifting the chest. Exhaling, releasing out the toes. Pada Hastasana, hand to foot pose. Lift the fronts of the feet. Slide the hands under as far as they'll go to the wrist crease. Just give it a try. On the exhale, drop the toes down, head down as you fold. If you're holding onto opposite elbows, switch the grip, opposite hand on top. Surrender into the stretch. Keep the breath nice and steady. One more breath. Big inhale, start lifting the chest. Exhaling, releasing out the hands from the feet. Bring both hands to the waist with a flat back, press up slow all the way up, all the way, all the way up to stand. Keep the hands resting on the waist. Shift your weight to the right leg, turn the left toes out. We're setting up tree pose, frikshasana. You can keep the foot down on the mat if the stability is gonna be best for you today or step the foot inside the right leg, below the knee, or if the hips feel warmed up enough, you can go above the knee, just not directly on the knee. Palms together first at the heart. Just look again, past the end of the nose, chest up. Pressing down through the right leg, big inhale, the arms overhead. Separate the hands. Nice deep breaths. Let's give it one more deep breath. Bring both palms together at the heart. Keep the left leg lifting. Point the left knee forward. Brief warrior three is a transition. The left leg reaches all the way back. Right into warrior one. Step the left foot back. Spin the heel down. Float the arms high. Open up for warrior two. Reach out. Let's reverse the warrior. Right arm sweep it high. Straightening out the front leg. Triangle pose. Trikonasana. Turn the arms. Lower the right hand. Lift the left. Use a block if you need under the right hand. Or you can just let your fingertips reach toward the mat. That's okay too. Look up as best you can. One more deep breath. Good. Bending up at the right knee, hands to the inside of the right foot. We're gonna walk the hands through the left side, bring the right toes in, coming into a wide-legged forward fold. Prasarita Padatanasana. Relaxing the head down, and you can keep the hands down or elbows down or hold on to the lower legs. Whatever feels good. If the knees need to bend, let them bend. Take one more breath. Big inhale, we're lifting the chest, hands back to the mat. Low lunge, front of the mat, walk the hands around. We're stepping forward to the front of the mat, fold over the legs. Again, with the feet hip width distance apart, this time everybody can reach hands to opposite elbows. Letting your arms relax down toward the mat, lift the chest, hands again to the waist, flat back, press up slow, all the way to stand. Keep the hands there. Shift your weight to the left leg, turn the right toes out, setting up our tree pose. You can keep the right toes down, the right foot down, or step the foot inside the left leg, below or above the knee, avoiding the knee directly. Palms first at the heart. Press down, big inhale, lift the arms, separate the hands. Let the shoulders drop away from the ears. Soften the space between the eyebrows. Palms together again at the heart center. The right leg stays lifting, point the right knee forward. Brief warrior three, Trust, just a transition. Right leg reaches back, hips level. Warrior one, right toes back, heel down, arms high. 
Warrior two, reach out to the side. Reversing the warrior, left arm, reach it up. Straighten out the left leg. Triangle pose, trikonasana, turn the arms. Lengthening the spine along the horizon so we're not rounding down, we're not hunching. Pick up the right arm. Micro bend in the front knee. Look up as best you can. Good. Look down at your left foot, bend at the left knee, lower the hands to the inside of the left foot. Prasarita Padatanasana. You're walking the hands to the right, bring the left toes in with you so your feet are just about parallel to each other. Fold over the legs. Again, any variation is fine. You can grab onto big toes or interlace fingers again behind the back if you like, or a little side stretch over one leg. Just make sure if you're doing that, you also do the other. Deep breaths. One more full breath. Good, inhaling, lift the chest, hands toward the mat or the floor. Low lunge, front of the mat, walk the hands around, hands to opposite sides of your left foot. Let's step back to down dog, bring the left foot back. You can hold your down dog if you'd like to flow through, optional. Take it to plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Taking it back to your downward facing dog. Good, lower your knees onto the mat. Come to stand up on the knees. We're gonna do some camel pose today, Ustrasana. Separate the feet, uh, separate your knees about hip width distance. Okay. Hands to the lower back. Always protect the lower back, draw the elbows toward each other. So the chest opens forward, head up, head back. You're welcome to hold it right here. If you'd like to work it a little deeper, reach the right hand to the right ankle, maybe left to the left ankle. And if you want, you can also tuck the toes. Makes it a little easier to grab the heels. Keep the hips pressing forward. Keep the head dropping back. Let the breath move. We'll take one more deep breath. Then one hand at a time to the lower back. Come to sit on your heels. You can hold it here if you want to take a block between the feet, you can, or if you rather just take a cross-legged seat, do that. Let the hands rest toward the knees. Just gaze past the end of the nose, just letting the energy settle a, a moment or two before we do the second set. Come to stand up on the knees again, tucking or untucking the toes, hands to the lower back. Chest up, tailbone down, hips forward, head up and back. Once again, either holding it right here, breathing, or you can right hand to the right ankle, left hand to the left. Keep the hips pressing forward. Keep the chest lifting up. Nice deep breath, nice deep back bend. So just hang in there. Keep the breath moving one more time. One hand at a time to the lower back, head back, have a seat on your heels. Again, block if you like, or cross-legged seat if that's a little better for you today. Just gazing past the end of the nose, let's give it one more deep breath. Good, let's have a seat all the way down on the mat. Bring the legs around front lower down onto your back. Bring the knees in toward the chest. If it feels good, you can rock a little side to side or maybe happy baby pose. Bring your feet down to the mat. Another little hip stretch here. Take your right ankle, slide it above the left knee, hug your left leg in toward the chest. Flex the feet. If and only if the knees are feeling good here, you can make this a deeper stretch by interlacing all 10 fingers outside the left leg on top of the shin. Just please be mindful, right? Just keep the head dropping back on the mat and let's take one more deep breath. Releasing out, bring both feet back to the mat, go the other way, left ankle above the right knee, hug it in, flex the feet. 
again, either holding here, if and only if the knees are, the knees, the joints are good, then you can take the slightly deeper variation, interlace the fingers on top of the right shin, just below the right knee. Let's give it one more breath. Good. Unwrap the legs, both feet back on the mat. Hug the right knee and straighten the left leg out on the mat. Bring the right knee toward the right shoulder. Press the left heel away from you. So your left toes point up toward the sky. The back of your left knee is pressing toward the mat. Lengthening the tailbone, giving our left hip flexor a nice stretch here to help release any lower back tension. That tends to be a, a common thing, a common problem spot. Then just let the left, left leg go, like soften it up, take a twist, go toward the left side, bring the right knee over, drop the right arm out, making sure the right shoulder stays on the mat. Turn your head to the right and hold, taking one more breath. Come back to center, switch sides, straighten the right leg, hug the left knee in. Bring your left knee to the left shoulder, press the right heel away, the right toe is pointing up toward the sky, back of the right knee, reach it toward the mat, lengthen the tailbone along the mat. Once again, giving ourselves this hip flexor stretch. All right, so hopefully when you're done with yoga, your back feels a whole lot better. Let the right leg soften up. Take the twist, bring your left knee over to the right side, drop the left arm out, and turn your head to the left, keeping your left shoulder down on the mat. Good, coming back to center. Hug both knees in. Good, then rock up to a seated position on your mat. And let's do this, let's do a dolphin pose which is a, also a modified headstand. Your head is not going to touch down on the mat here, so don't, don't worry. If you do otherwise have a headstand practice, you're welcome to, um, to go all the way into it. Just starting on hands and knees, bring the elbows down. Take your hands to opposite elbows, so we wanna make sure the elbows stay lined up under the shoulders. Your elbows should not be wider than shoulder width distance apart. Release the elbows, interlace all 10 fingers so the hands open up and it looks like a little basket, right? Start to tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back. And here's our dolphin pose. So your head is not touching down. Make sure the shoulders keep reaching away from the ears. Lengthening along the spine. All right, this is a good, good variation for down dog as well. If the wrists start to get a little uncomfortable or if you have a wrist injury, this is a nice way to get into down dog. Let's give it another deep breath or two. back to the mat, come into child's pose. You can reach arms forward, or if you want to release the shoulders a little more, just let the arms reach back behind you. The backs of the hands will then rest on the mat on opposite sides of your feet there. Let's give it another deep breath or two. Turn back up onto your hands and knees, have a seat. Extend the legs right around front. Setting up Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold, flex the feet. You can always put a little bend in the knees if that feels better on the hamstrings or the lower back. Lift both arms up, big inhale. 
Exhaling, reach forward, grab the feet, grab onto toes or heels, use a strap or belt or something if you need a more reasonable grip on the feet. One more deep breath. Inhaling, start to lift the chest. Exhaling, releasing out the feet, bending up at the knees. Bring the soles of the feet together without bringing your heels too close in toward the hips. So we wanna actually let the feet reach out rather than pulling in. Slide the hands under the outsides of the legs so that your hands easily wrap around or mostly easily wrap around the tops of your feet. So the knees just hang out and just relax down over the legs. And certainly if you wanted to work this a little deeper, you can slide the arms a little bit further out, right? And you're welcome to reach the feet out even wider in front of you. Well, let's give it another couple of breaths. One more full breath. Start to slide the hands back out, coming up, rolling onto your back. Hug the knees in toward the chest again. If you like, just taking any final stretch or twist that you like before coming into Shavasana, before coming into your corpse pose. Final relaxation. When you're ready, extend the legs out on the mat. Let the feet separate a little bit so the toes naturally fall out toward the sides. Let the arms drop out beside you, both palms turned up toward the sky. Closing the eyes, letting go of the ujjayi breath. Just settling onto your mat, embracing a few moments of stillness. Uncreasing the brow, unclenching the jaw. Just letting any tension you might be holding on to release, just letting go. Begin lengthening the breath. Gradually returning awareness to the body, wiggling fingers, wiggling toes. Maybe gently roll the head side to side. 
Reaching the arms overhead, enjoying a nice waking stretch. Bring the knees in toward the chest one final time. Slowly rolling to the right side. Keep the eyes closed a little while longer. Start coming back up to a comfortable seated position on the mat. Bringing both palms together at the heart. Just taking a moment as we seal our practice, coming back to the breath again. And just observing the breath moving through the body. Taking a moment, always honoring your efforts and honoring the practice today. Namaste.